Hey everyone. Today, we've got some fantastic phrases from the Power English Radio Show, so let's dive right in. Ever find yourself in a conversation and suddenly think, Speaking of that. Well, that's where our first phrase comes in. Speaking of. It's a conversational gem used to smoothly transition from one topic to another. For example, I heard they're renovating the office. Speaking of renovations, did you see the new break room? It's like a verbal segue, effortlessly moving from one related idea to another. And speaking of bills, I just noticed electricity rates went up again. It's a perfect way to keep the conversation flowing. Next up, we've got, get the a-feeling. It's that gut sense that something is true. Picture this. I got the feeling that my girlfriend's father didn't like me. Ever have that sensation that someone's watching you when you're alone? Do you ever get the feeling that someone is watching you when you're alone? It's all about that intuitive nudge based on experiences or subtle cues. Now, let's talk about, go against something. This phrase means to act in opposition to a rule, belief, or expectation. Calling in sick goes against everything my father taught me about responsibility. Going against the school's code of conduct? Not a good idea. And sometimes, going against the advice of experts might lead to risky decisions. Moving on to, just outside of. Imagine something being really close, but not exactly inside that's it. The garbage can is just outside of the back door. Living just outside of the city can mean a short commute downtown. The restaurant is located just outside of the main shopping district. It's all about that close proximity without being right in the heart of things. Lastly, we've got wardrobe. No, not the furniture piece, but the entire collection of clothes someone owns and wears. Her wardrobe is filled with a variety of dresses for different occasions. Take pride in a minimalist wardrobe, focusing on quality over quantity. It's all about the clothes, not the closet. And there you have it, folks. Some key phrases from the Power English Radio Show. Until next time, happy learning. Well, I don't really shop in Korea, I have to say, not mm. much as, as far as clothes are concerned. Mm -hmm. I'm always shopping online. Yeah, I I'm, think if I do most of my mm, shopping online. Yeah, and <laughs> I'm more comfortable with like American brands and European, mm. you know, shopping, like things that are in English. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are some things like I feel very, I know my size, like uh, American size right. very well. Right. But sometimes with the Korean. Right. And then sometimes here in Korea, they have the European size. Mm, and some of them, I'm like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so true. Uh, it's so always true. very stressful shopping. All right. So we're talking about outlet malls, shopping villages mm -hmm. in Europe part two. Yes. And the expressions that we have today are speaking of uh -huh. something. Yes. What does this mean? So this means that someone said something. So you are going to add extra information or say something mm -hmm. about that same topic. Mm -hmm. All right. If you say, I have a feeling or get a feeling or yes. have the feeling, yeah. what is this feeling? This means that you're getting a, a sense of something. Mm -hmm. You're either experiencing it and you're like, hmm, hmm, this seems to be a certain way. Right. And also the last one, go against something. To do something that is... Opposite, in opposition. Okay, very mm -hmm. good. Let's go ahead and listen to our dialogue. I finally understand why you packed so little in your suitcase for a two-week trip to Europe. And I'm not leaving until my suitcase is stuffed with a whole new wardrobe. Speaking of suitcases, I may need a second one for all of my purchases. Great. There's an amazing luggage store in Ingolstadt Village just outside of Munich. Why do I get the feeling that you planned our itinerary around the best outlet malls? 
Of course I did. Traveling without shopping goes against everything I believe in. Sherry says, I finally understand why you packed so little in your suitcase for a two-week trip into Europe. Mm -hmm. When I go traveling, yes. I really don't take much. Oh, really? I you're know a, you take a light. light. You're a light traveler. I'm a light packer and a light traveler because I like to shop mm. when I'm in the country. And not just clothes or shoes, but like souvenirs. Uh, yeah. Mm. So I keep it light. I see. How about you? I don't. I wish I could. Mm -hmm. I've tried before. I know. But if I'm going on a two-day trip, mm -hmm. I feel I like know. I need like six pairs of socks. Right, right. Six pairs. Oh, my gosh. And like I always pack so many. Because I think, what if it snows? I know. What if it rains? <laughs> what if it's sunny? Like every day could be an entirely new type of temperature. So if you go to Europe for two weeks, uh -huh. like you don't have room to buy anything. Right. Right. But it's a good excuse not to buy anything. Okay. All I don't right. have to buy presents. Okay. Sorry, my suitcase was Sorry. full. Okay. Yeah. Antoine says, no, and I'm not leaving until my suitcase is stuffed with a whole new wardrobe. Yes. So Sherry's saying, wow, your suitcase is very light. It's yes. empty. Mm -hmm. And Antoine says, oh, yeah, I'm going to put a lot of new clothes yes. in there. Mm -hmm. So a word that describes clothes yes. is the word Wardrobe. Yes. What is a wardrobe? It's spelled W A R D R O B E. One mm -hmm. word. So a wardrobe, uh, the original meaning mm -hmm. is something similar to a closet. closet. Yeah. But a closet is inside the wall. All right. That is, when you're putting your clothes inside of the wall, mm -hmm. then that would be a closet. Right. If it's a piece of furniture mm -hmm. that you can move to different places in your house, right. that is a wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Right? I have a wardrobe. Everybody so I mean, has every, a wardrobe. Most people have a wardrobe. Yeah. But it doesn't just mean the furniture now. Mm -hmm. It is also a word to talk about all of your clothes together. Okay. And we might even say like a winter wardrobe. Mm. These are the clothes I wear in winter. Yeah. A summer wardrobe. Mm -hmm. These are the, the clothes I wear in summer. Right. Okay. And so Sherry says what? Speaking of suitcases, I may need a second one for all of my purchases. Now, this is a really interesting expression. Mm. Speaking of something. Yeah. We say this a lot. Yeah. Okay? Mm. Oh, speaking of suitcases or, oh, speaking of dinner. Yeah. What does this mean? Yeah, so in Korean you might say something like, like it's a subject that someone just mentioned mm -hmm. and so you want to continue talking about that. Right. So Antoine kind of talked about suitcases. Yeah. But Sherry heard it and says, Oh, oh. I have something to say about suitcases. Mm -hmm. Speaking of suitcases. Yeah. Mm. Right. It's kind of like Oh, that reminds me. Right. Very similar. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So speaking of suitcases, oh, while we're talking about suitcase, I just remembered something. Yeah. I need a second one for all of my purchases because mm -hmm. Sherry did a lot of, you know. A lot of shopping. A lot of shopping. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Antoine says, great. There's an amazing luggage store in Ingolstadt Village just outside of Munich. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... My surprise when I went to Munich was mm -hmm. that in Germany it was München. Yeah. But Americans say Munich. Right. Mm -hmm. A lot of these and a lot of these like European city names yeah. have a different English name than the original. Right. In the same way that in Korean some of the cities that are in Japan or China right. they have a Korean pronunciation name. Right. And then they have the, like, for example, China, you can say Beijing uh -huh. or you can say Pukyong. Pukyong. Right? Yeah, right. It's not, it's mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. same way. Mm -hmm. In English, we say mm -hmm. Munich, mm -hmm. where in Germany they say München. Yeah, München. Or, München. Yeah, I'm not sure how they German. The Korean is much yeah. closer, actually, <laughs> yeah, than right. the English. It's here. like Roma and Rome. Roma. Or yeah, Paris and Paris. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Or right. Lisbon. Uh huh. How's say? that? 
Lisboa. Lisboa. Yeah, Lisboa. Oh, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> very nice Portuguese. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, just outside of is our power pattern. Yeah. If something is just outside of Seoul or just outside of Munich, what is it? So it means it's not far outside. Yeah. It's maybe ju- like there's a wall and it's on the other side of that wall. It's kind of like Gyeonggi-do. Yeah. If you're describing it to a foreigner. Right. In the studio mm-hmm. here in Koyang, uh-huh. Koyangshi, mm-hmm. and Koyang is kind of just outside, outside of, of Seoul. Seoul. Yeah, you can say that. It's very close. Right. Mm. Okay. And Sherry says what? Why do I get the feeling that you planned our itinerary around the best outlet malls? Okay. So she's asking a question, but she's coming to... It's not really a question. Mm. It's more of a statement. Yeah. So she's like... I get the feeling that you planned our trip around these outlet malls. Yes. Okay. Why do I get the feeling? Yes. What does this mean? So first, let's look at the 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 shorter part of the expression, get the feeling. Mm-hmm. So get the feeling is like you're... You are feeling something, mm-hmm. but it's often used as a like an understanding. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Often an understanding that you don't know why. It's kind of a nikim. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know, but you just feel it. Yeah. So to get the feeling uh-huh. is to understand something mm-hmm. that maybe you don't have a logic about why. Right. However, when she says, why do I get the feeling? It means that she's getting a little suspicious. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Did you uh-huh. do this thing? Did you plan everything around going to yeah. shopping malls? Right. Yeah. So she's like, my instinct yeah. is telling me mm. that you did this on purpose. Right, right. Uh-huh. So... Antoine says, of course I did. Traveling without shopping goes against everything I believe in. Yes. So traveling without shopping goes against everything I believe in. Mm-hmm. What does this mean? A goes against B. So to go against means to do the opposite. Mm-hmm. And it's often talking about a rule mm-hmm. or maybe someone in authority yeah. or even your your ideas and values. Mm-hmm. So to go against means to do something that doesn't agree with it yes here with antoine he's saying that he believes Mm -hmm. that when you travel Mm -hmm. you should shop Mm -hmm. so if he went on a trip Mm -hmm. and he did not shop he did not buy anything yeah that would go against what he think is a good idea for a vacation okay so to go against something means to do the opposite so Mm -hmm. basically he's saying I strongly believe that you should travel and shop. Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and listen to that one more time. I finally understand why you packed so little in your suitcase for a two-week trip to Europe. And I'm not leaving until my suitcase is stuffed with a whole new wardrobe. Speaking of suitcases, I may need a second one for all of my purchases. Great. There's an amazing luggage store in Ingolstadt Village, just outside of Munich. Why do I get the feeling that you planned our itinerary around the best outlet malls? Of course I did. Traveling without shopping goes against everything I believe in. Okay, it's time for Power Note. Please join us on pages 76 and 77. Speaking of, Mm -hmm. which means, oh, we just talked about it. Yeah. But I like to continue with something new. Yes. But it's the same, similar topic. Yes. Uh, My daughter wants to get a pet, but I don't know if she's ready. Speaking of pets, do you think you could take care of my cat next week? Okay. Okay. It's the link. The link is... The pets. pets. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. So you're you're kind of changing the mm-hmm. subject a little bit, but mm-hmm. you're you're choosing the the connection. Yeah. So the topic is originally buying a pet for your daughter. Right. And the next person is changing it, but they're saying, Let's let's still talk about pets. Let's talk about pets. But I have a pet. Yeah. Can you watch it? Can you watch it? Okay. Mm. So I say to you, for example, oh my gosh, I have so many bills and everything is so expensive. Like everything's gone up. Speaking of expensive. <laughs> right. I just bought a new boat. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. 
Okay. But that's an example of showing I chose one very small thing. Right. And it wasn't actually what you were wanting to talk about. Right. But、It's、I'm trying、connected. to make that connection. It's a connection. Right. Here's the next example. Speaking of bills, I just noticed electricity rates went up again.、Mm. So I was talking about bills. Oh my, I have so many bills. It's like hard to pay them off.、Yeah. And then, oh, speaking of bills, right? Yeah. So this is often whenever you said something,、mm-hmm. but it wasn't the main topic you、mm-hmm. were talking about, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I'm deciding to make it the main topic. It's true.、Mm-hmm. It's like you're kind of. Sneakily changing the topic, right? I mean, it, it may not be that you're sneaking it and like,、yeah. I want to talk about, I want to talk、yeah. about, but it is a sense of maybe, oh, I'm reminded、mm-hmm. because you said that word,、mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that type of thing. Yeah. All right. So one more example just could be like, oh, you're talking about someone at work,、mm-hmm. and like, oh, you know, speaking of Cameron,、mm-hmm. I heard that he. Is now going to become a producer.、Okay. That's not true, everybody. That's、okay. not true.、Uh, but yeah,、okay. yeah. Like if you have gossip yeah. on someone, yeah. yeah. Speaking、oh, of, it's like, oh,、uh, Lucy is、uh, taking lunch orders.、Mm-hmm. So just tell、mm-hmm. her what you want. Okay, thank you. Speaking, Speaking of Lucy, <laughs> did you hear what she said to the boss? Right, like right. that type of thing. All right.、Mm. Get the feeling, or get a feeling, is just that. Oh, you you have your. Sense、yes. your intuition that tells you. I think it's true.、Mm. Do you ever get the feeling that you're being watched all the time? I have a creepy cat who stares at me constantly. Okay, so、mm. do you get the feeling that you're always being watched? I mean, in Korea, yeah, yeah, because there's CCTV everywhere. That is true. That is true. Who was it?、Uh, Ernest Hemingway. Yeah, he had he always... had the feeling. <clears throat> he always had the feeling that he was being watched.、Mm-hmm. Everyone thought he was crazy. Yeah. That he like when he died,、mm-hmm. everyone thought he was crazy. Yeah, because he was like, "Oh, they're watching me." There turns out、they're... American CIA was watching him <gasps> the whole time. No, like, they were keeping an eye on him. Yes, so they were watching him. Yeah, he got the feeling. <gasps> he got the feeling. Of, like people were following him. Really? And it was true. It was true. But no one believed him. Oh my goodness! Yes,、yeah, yeah. I wish. People were no. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. no.、Uh, I got the feeling that my girlfriend's father didn't like me. Oh,、yeah. he didn't say I don't like you. Yeah, but he. It's his, just a nickname. Yeah, it's a nickname.、Mm, yeah.、Mm. All right.、Um, so go against something means to be in opposition of something. Yes. Okay. I've decided to vote against the spending bill tomorrow. That goes against everything we've been working towards this year. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. I feel this expression. Is kind of like about principle, kind of about belief, kind of about your view on certain things. Yes, you know, like A goes against my beliefs、mm-hmm. or my principles. Right. Okay. Here,、uh, that goes against everything we've been working toward this year. It's kind of big. Yeah. Okay.、Mm-hmm. Calling in sick goes against everything my father taught me about responsibility. Ah,、uh, so you kind of have this value that、yeah. even if I'm sick, I should go to work. Yeah. Right, so right. calling in sick goes against that value. Right. Or being late to school goes against you know what I was taught at home. Yeah. Right.、Mm-hmm. So it kind of is like connected to kind of your value system. Yes. You know, or, or authority. Authority. You can, you yeah. Can, like go against your parents' wishes. That's right. That is where true. Where you're you're doing the opposite of what your parents want you right, to do, right?、Mm. And you can even more seriously go against the government. Oh yeah. <laughs> do yeah something. Yeah.、Mm, Not so, good.、Mm-hmm. All right. Now our power pattern today is just outside of. Yes. It's, just yeah, right just, out there. Just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The airport is just outside of the city. The garbage can is just outside of the back door. Okay. All right. So not far from. Yeah, the, it's right the there. Border.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Our power vocabulary today is wardrobe. Okay, it's basically、mm. like all your clothes, pretty much in your closet. Yeah,、mm-hmm. there's that really famous book too, The Lion, the, the, the Witch, and the, the Wardrobe. C.S. Lewis. Because the kids go into the wardrobe,、yeah. and then they find out they're in Narnia. That's in Narnia, right? Yeah. Okay.、Mm. All right.